the sooner you jump in, the sooner you're going to be able to gain that experience. And the sooner you're going to be able to build that investor mindset in yourself. And then you're going to be able to just tweak things as you go. And most importantly, you're just going to understand what people are talking about better. It's like when, when you're reading these investing books and when you're just talking to other people, trying to gather information, if you've already started, you're going to be able to connect the dots a lot easier. Great points, man. And uh, you made a really important point, which is basically the areas where you can simulate, right? And and that's really where a lot of the growth and the experience and the knowledge comes from. Because when you put your money in the market and you see it go down 10%, right? And your heart is beating, right? You can't simulate that from a book or like you can't just kind of really conceptually take all that in and all the reactions, the way your body and mind is going to operate. You can't get that from a book. You can't get that from a podcast. You can't get that from YouTube, right? And so definitely getting involved and getting that experience, exposure to it is so important because most of investing is really a waiting game, a temperament game, being able to master your own self and your emotional urges and also some of the things you see out there. It's easy to compare yourself to somebody else and, and forget that, hey, look, at one point, that person also started from scratch or they had to go through that experience journey and being in it to gain all the information to then make better decisions over time, right? And so you have to always kind of put things in the right perspective or in the right scope to allow you to be able to develop and not try to skip stages or compare yourself to others. Because you're right, that it, it, when I first started, it was, it was scary as hell. Hands down, like the scariest thing because you're like, Oh shit, the money can go to zero. Oh wow, that's a possibility, <laughs> right? And then things are happening. You're buying more, you're buying less, you're tweaking it. And and strategies do change over time. I'm pretty sure the way most of us started off in the beginning, when it comes to investing, is not the same way we're investing now. And part of it is because we've probably read from the books and information and you know, the best investors around the world, such as Warren Buffett and the like, and they've all said the same thing. But I can promise you, almost none of us actually really practice that from the beginning <laughs> right 